Here at Media Cybernetics, we are very excited to launch Image Pro 11.1, featuring AI deep learning segmentation. I'm going to give a brief explanation of how deep learning works for those that are interested at the end of the video. But I'm going to start by showing you the new user interface we've added to Image Pro for deep learning and most importantly, the extraordinary new capabilities that deep learning brings to the software. First, let's select the count size ribbon. In the segmentation tool group, there's a new AI deep learning segmentation button. Click this button to load the AI deep learning segmentation panel. Click the load button to display the open model for prediction dialog. Here I'm filtering on pre-trained AI models to show you the full library of pre-trained models available with Image Pro. In this dialog, you see each model's name, a description of the model, and the model's history. If you move your cursor over the example thumbnails, you can see a clear example of the kind of objects the model was trained to find. I'm selecting the Open Demo Image option. With this option selected, an image opens with the model with which you can test the model. The correct prediction settings also load with this option selected, helping you become familiar with how to use these settings with your own images. I'm first going to load the Label Free Cells model. The cells shown in the demo image are a really great example of objects that humans can pick out with the benefit of a visual cortex, but that without deep learning were impossible to segment accurately by computers. With deep learning, I just click the count button and the cells are found. Next, let's load the label-free nuclei model. Finding each nucleus in this image is another example of something that initially looks easy, but is in fact very difficult for computers with conventional segmentation methods. This deep learning model does an amazing job of segmenting each nucleus in the image. Now let's look at some examples of material science models. First, I'm loading the versatile particles model and counting. Please note the success the model has in segmenting each particle in the image and separating each from its neighbor. This model is the Versailles grain model. It's trained to identify individual grains in metals, which you can see it doing in this steel example. I'm finally loading the Versatile General Objects model. We've deliberately chosen an unusual demo image for this model a field of coffee beans in order to illustrate the versatility of the model. Here we can see how well the model does at identifying individual beans in the image, regardless of their orientation, completeness, or unusual illumination. Now I'd like to return to the AI button in the segmentation tools on the count size ribbon. By using the drop down option at the bottom of the button, I can access further deep learning options. Here I'm clicking, clicking on the deep learning trainer. The trainer loads on the left of the software. In this introduction video, I just want to mention that this panel enables an intuitive stepwise workflow that you can use to train your own models should you need to. Please watch our training video for more detail on how to go about it. The last new feature I'd like to introduce you to is also accessible from the AI dropdown. This is the model manager. 
This is where you can add new models, import compatible models, export your own custom train models, clone models, and lock models, which protects them from further changes. You can also use the model manager to load a model in either the training or prediction panels. Now let's take a quick look at the technology that underpins these exciting developments. So what exactly is deep learning? Deep learning is a subset of machine learning methods based on convolutional neural networks capable of feature detection or classification from raw data. Deep learning convolutional neural networks are excellent at completing the tasks that visually appear simple, but that computers find very hard or impossible. Convolutional neural networks allow computers to achieve things that were previously only possible with the benefit of a human visual cortex. This slide, of course, raises the question, what exactly are convolutional neural networks? Convolutional neural networks are an area of deep learning that specialize in pattern recognition. Convolutional neural networks learn by example. You teach them which image features you're interested in. This process is called training. Several architectures exist. Each of these are just different implementations of convolutional neural networks. Each architecture can be cloned and trained to be a specialist in a particular task, at which point it becomes known as a model. It's very common to see this type of diagrammatic illustration of a convolutional neural network. Here we see several columns of points connected by lines. I'd like to clearly explain exactly what this type of diagram represents. The leftmost column of points represents the input layer, and the rightmost column represents the output layer. Information flows from left to right. Now let's focus on a single one of the points. This point like all the points in the diagram, is an individual neuron. These are also known as nodes. Each neuron is actually a single numerical value. Neurons pass their numerical value to other neurons in the next layer of the network, along with values from numerous other neurons. The neuron in the next layer then calculates the summation of these inputs and applies a mathematical function to the summed value. This generates an output value, which is passed on to the next level of the network. So these diagrams simply represent a series of computations that build an output. This functionality is inspired by nature, which is clear if we consider the function of a biological neuron, which are to receive signals, to integrate incoming signals in order to determine whether the information should be passed along, and to communicate those signals to other neurons or onto muscles and glands. Now let's consider how a complete network functions. Please keep in mind that these diagrams are highly summarized, containing many fewer neurons and levels than real convolutional neural networks. The input layer is an image that we wish to analyze. Deeper in the network are convolutional layers. These function as filters. The first filters detect features such as edges, curves, and corners. Deeper filters find objects composed of these features, such as cells, nuclei, grains, fibers, or whichever features the model has been trained to find. The output layer is a mask outlining detected objects, which is then superimposed back onto the input image. Thank you for watching this introduction to deep learning in ImagePro 11.1 and the technology it uses. I urge you to watch further videos in this series that explain how to make the most of each deep learning architecture, how to make new models, and how to train them. If you have any questions, please contact Media Cybernetics and we'll be happy to help.